Hi everyone and welcome to Wednesday and that means crock pot Wednesday. Today I'm busy in the kitchen and I'm going to share with you the crock pot meal that's a family and childhood favorite with a little bit of a twist. And I'm going to share with you some other projects that I'm doing today in the kitchen. So I hope you stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome back to Crock-Pot Wednesday. It's hard to believe that we're in the middle of the week already. And today we are going to make what I call pennies from heaven. But I have a little twist on it. So let's get started on today's Crock-Pot meal. I always like to emphasize how important it is to have a pantry. And start out each week just a little at a time and by the year is up, you will have a nice sized pantry. It's so nice to go in your cookbook and find all of the ingredients and go into your pantry and you're able to retrieve them. So today is what I call pennies from heaven. It was a childhood favorite of mine. Now I'm adapting it to my own particular like. So what we are using is my homemade baked beans. These are baked beans. They were canned. They were dried beans to begin with and I will share with you the video. Also it has some bacon in it. And then I'm going to pan my camera down and I'm going to show you what we're going to use with it. I know hot dogs are a really bad thing for you. And I know that there's not much nutrition in a hot dog. But I wanted to share with you, if you get... Now, I'm able to afford this because of the local discount grocery store. Because otherwise these would be rather expensive. But if you look for Nathan's Hot Dogs or Nathan's Cocktail Franks, they are gluten-free, no artificial colors or flavors, and there's no byproducts in these. These are pure beef franks or little um, cocktail franks, and you don't have the preservatives in them. There's no BHT in them, and Nathan's are usually kosher, and I really like these, and this is a hard item to find at a discount grocery store. But I paid $3 for them, and it is a two-pound bag. So we are not going to use that many today. But I enjoy eating a hot dog here and there, and I enjoy these cocktail franks. And this is a, the best choice you can use for that. And we're going to use this today on our pennies from heaven. All we're going to do is we're going to take our two quarts of baked beans. Now the longer baked beans sit on the shelf, the thicker it will get. But my recipe is always perfect. It turns out perfect and they don't get too hard. Sometimes people make baked beans and they don't have the enough of a liquid in them and what happens is they get like hard dried out bricks. But my baked beans are always really well kept and I really enjoy the recipe that I have. And a lot of you have made it as well. Now of course this is going to give us uh, quite a few meals and we don't mind having leftovers in fact that is usually how I like to cook I like to cook a large meal and then have leftovers so these are the cocktail franks and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut them in threes just like that so basically it's hot dogs and baked beans threes and fours and I'm not going to have that many because we do have a little bit of bacon in these jars. This is great on a picnic so if you're going on a picnic this would be perfect to have and I try to find healthier choices for regular foods that we all eat. I would really encourage you by all means if anybody does buy hot dogs don't ever buy the hot dogs that aren't 100% all beef and if you buy these that are, um, are no artificial colors or flavors and no byproducts that's really important is the no byproducts so we'll see how many we make here I also make a really good recipe that I had shared with you before using these and I will try to find the link as well with that 
because this is another recipe that's really good. Okay, that looks really good. I'll share with you what it looks like. Today is a big day in the kitchen. I have a lot of projects going on. And today finds us another rainy day. So there you go. It is just the baked beans and just these little sausage cocktail links. One thing really nice in the crock pot is baked beans. They seem to get such a good flavor with it. All right, so basically all we're gonna do is we are going to just have this on low for about four to five hours. And yes, everyone, here is Mr. Bunny. Everybody loves my Mr. Bunny. And he is my newest hobby. I just love little bunnies like this. Yes, we still have Mr. Froggy, but I have to point out that Mr. Bunny is here as well. All of you, I am so amazed and I'm having so much fun of all of your comments about the different things that you see on my kitchen counters. And you always are remarking about Mr. Bunny. So this is Peter, Peter Rabbit. And I just think it is adorable. I got it from our anniversary. So that will be a lifetime treasure of mine. And he, and he looks really real. And he was only $10 on eBay. So I just thought he was really cute. So there we go. We have the crock pot meal ready. And now I'm going to share with you what we're going to work on next. When I have a large project, what I always like to do is I like to start the day before. And I'm going to share with you a little bit of what we're working on today. So here is this clip. So over the weekend we went to Aldi and they had their Vidal onions for $1.25 a bag. Now the onions needed to get used up. In fact, I found one that was rotted in it. So what I did is I peeled it and I quartered it. And then I am going to slice them in my food processor. And then we are going to put them in the bowl and then we are going to dehydrate them. So today is Crock-Pot Wednesday and dehydrating some onions. So let's get started and I'll show you what they look like when they're all chopped up. Alright everyone, that is all the onions and within a matter of minutes we got them all chopped up. And now we're going to put them in the food dehydrator. And they're going to dehydrate for about 8 to 10 hours at about 150 degrees or lower, maybe about 140. And I'll show you how we put them in the dehydrator. All right, so this is what we got. Now we're gonna go and put it in the dehydrator. And in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna share with you a very special Thrifty Thursday, and I think you're gonna enjoy it because it was one of the things I've always wanted to do on my bucket list. And I finally got to do it with the help of Tim and Tammy. So here we got all of our onions. So I really want to get this started this morning early because I want them to be done by the end of the day. I know a lot of people dehydrate their foods overnight. I don't feel safe in doing that. I always want to make sure my dehydrators are off when I'm in bed. It's just something that I've always done. So we're going to take our trays and we are going to spread them out on a thin layer. Now this is going to give us quite a many trays here. So I'm trying to have them as thin as I possibly can so they can dry out all within the same time frame. Now I have three dehydrators. Two of them family members got for me for five dollars each and the other one I got for free with doing a review on my YouTube channel way when I first started. So it was such a blessing to me. Now the owners and the makers of these Nesco dehydrates say you can have up to 10 trays. That's too many because for me it doesn't dehydrate all at the same time if you have that many trays. I usually don't like having more than five or six. So I'm going to get these all on the trays and then we'll get plugging it in. 
and then I will share with you, with the magic of the camera, what everything looks like when we're finished. Today is another rainy, damp day, so it's a perfect day for dehydrating out here in the out porch because it's not so hot. All right, I'll get back to you when all of this is finished. And Tammy made some really great cornbread. So we're going to eat some of this and we're going to eat some amazing baked beans with our little hot dogs. Yum, yum. Mm -mm. So there you go, my friends. Some cornbread, some hot dogs on a really, really rainy day. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll give you an update on my onions because it's going to take another couple hours for them to dry. So I will share with you on the next videos when I get these onions finished. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow because Chevy Man's coming in the door, and so is my daughter. Bye, guys.